Activity 5. Let's get a move on. Now that we have our robot ready, let's write a program. The robot is our hardware and the program is our software. It's important to understand how the hardware and the software work together to make your robot function. From the lobby, click on the plus sign to make a new project. In order to organize all of our work, let's save this project and name it 4-H Projects. You can also rename this program. Double click on the word program in the tab. Change the name to move on. Did you notice that asterisk that popped up beside the 4-H Projects.eb3 tab at the top? Anytime something changes in any of our programs, that symbol will pop up as a reminder that you have made changes that you haven't saved. From now on, we can just create new programs within this project. To create this program, we will be using blocks from the Action Palette and the Flow Control Palette. First, drag the Move Steering block from the Action Palette and connect it to the Start block. You can see from the numbers on the block that the robot will move straight forward at 50% power for one full rotation, and then it will break. Then select the flow control palette and add a weight block after your move steering block. This will add a one second weight before moving on to the next block in the program. Select the action palette again and drag another move steering block after the weight block. Move blocks can judge distance in several ways. Let's change the second move block to measure degrees instead of rotations. We can also change the power to negative 50. Notice that the arrow points down. This shows that the robot will move backwards during this block. We can change the amount of rotation by changing the number 360 to another number. Let's put in 720. Add another weight block from the flow control palette. Finally, add one more move steering block from the action palette. Now let's use time instead of rotations for our distance. Change the time to one second. Let's also change the break at the end to be a coast by clicking on the check mark and changing it to an X. Be sure to save your work. Connect your robot to your computer and download the program. Unplug your robot and run the program. Please read the rest of the activity and then move on to Activity 6.